All right, I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that you can do to help improve your balance. Um, we do these exercises routinely at our strength and balance classes, um, so you can quite easily do these at home. It helps if you can do them with a, a chair in front of you, like a, a dining chair, um, or in the kitchen using your kitchen worktop. I'm going to do them on my landing, so I've got the the, um, the banister at the top there that I can hold on to if I need to. Okay. So first of all, we've got um, some tiptoes. So you're going to stand shoulder width apart, tummy in, soft knees, shoulders back. You can hold on if you need to. Hold on to your dining chair if you've got one in front of you. You're just going to lift up nice and slowly onto your tiptoes and back down again. You can try this a couple of times. Okay. This time you're going to try and lift up and hold. Now again, if you were holding onto your chair, you'd try just to get away with as little grip as you possibly can. So hold, not holding on for white knuckle ride, but if you can just get away with one finger or one hand or none at all, that would be great. Okay, and back down. So up for about five seconds, down for five seconds, and do a couple of do that a couple of times. Up onto tiptoes, back down. Another exercise we're going to do is lifting the toes up so we're standing on our heels. Now for this one, we need to make sure that our, our bottom is pushed forward so we're not sticking our, our bottom out. So I'll show you, we're just going to lift our toes up, make sure you've got your balance. Do it a few times before you hold it. Toes up, back down. Okay, this time I'm going to try and lift up, hold it for a few seconds. Oop. And back down. I'm going to show you from the side. So we're going to again hold your tummy in, lift the toes up. Try not to stick your bottom back. Just try and remain up, up nice and straight. Toes up and back down. I'm doing this bare feet because I'm in my house. We don't wear shoes in my house. Back down. Excellent. Okay. Next one we're going to do is a tandem leg stance. Um, so we're going to uh, tandem stance. Sorry. So we're going to put one foot directly in front of the other, like you're walking the tightrope. Again, you can hold on for your balance if you need. And then you're gonna just slowly transfer your weight from front foot to back foot. Hold that for a couple of seconds. Okay. Again, just concentrate on making sure that your head's up nice and tall. You're not looking straight down at your feet. You're looking somewhere on the floor, slightly in front of you. Try not to get distracted with things that are going on around you. Hold that tummy in. Great, you do a few seconds on that foot and then try it with the other foot forwards. Okay. It's alright if you have a little bit of a power wobble, that's fine. Just remember you've got your something there to catch you if you are about to fall, your chair in front of you, or if you're in your kitchen, your worktop at the side of you. That's great. Okay, so another one that we're going to do now is a flamingo. Flamingo leg swing. Um, so we're going to lift your foot up. You're going to stand on one foot. Just describe the exercise first. You're going to just lift the leg up, swing it forwards, touch it on the floor on the way back, and then extend back behind you. So forwards, touch on the floor, and back behind. So this leg is doing all of the work really. So you might get a little bit sore around the hip on this leg. If you can do it without holding on, then great. And equally, if you can do it without touching your foot on the floor, great. So just concentrate again, holding your tummy in, your shoulders back, your back nice and straight, your chin in. Great. Okay, and try the other leg. So foot forwards, touch the floor, extend back behind you. try that all with um, a bit of, bit of movement. So the first one that we did was on stands on our tiptoes. So we're going to go up onto our tiptoes and we'll walk a few steps. So it's up, walk a few steps, and then down. Turn around and do the same again. I'm not going to turn around in this one, I'll just go back. So we do that 
a few times, depends how long your kitchen is or how long you, you set your chairs up along the side. Another one we can do is side steps, so you're going to turn, face your kitchen worktop, have a couple of chairs lined up in front, or if you've got um, a long wall or a fence and a bit of patio, you can do that, so your hands on the wall. So up, and you're going to side step, side step, side step. So foot out, foot together. Same all the way back. Slide together, slide together. Great. Um, we're going to do a heel walking, so we're lifting the toes up. We're going to stand on our heels. Again, just concentrate on holding your core in, so tummy in, bottom pushed under, standing on our heels as we walk forwards. Try to go nice and steady. If you go slow, it sometimes is a little bit harder. I'm just going to walk back. Same again if you're going to do that a few times. And then the only other one we're going to do is a tandem leg walk. So one foot in front of the other, like we are literally walking the tightrope this time. And if this is too much, if this is too challenging, I'm doing it with my, literally my heel right in front of my big toe, heel right in front of my big toe. If that's too much, you can leave a little bit of a gap or not go quite so overlapped. You can go out to the side slightly. But if you can